आई एम विवेक पटनी एंड आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हियर की ऑफ द बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन सो एस वी डिस्कस इन द लास्ट लेक्चर क्लासिफिकेशन इज सिंपली नॉट ए वन स्टेप मैथड बट इट इज ए सीरीज ऑफ सिक्वेंशियल स्टेप्स इन विच इच टैक्शन सोज ए पर्टिकुलर कैटेगरी सो स्टार्टिंग विद द टैक्शन in each such classification each taxon is taken as a reference of unit but in real sense it basically indicates a specific row in it so a taxonomic group of any rank such as species family class and taxa okay or you can say singular which is taxon and each taxon indicates specific level of similarities and differences characters either of individual or of a group are essential to put the living organisms on their related taxa and the similarity and dissimilarity is known through characters and determination by their taxa and such knowledge category uh, is given to the living groups at different levels of the classification which is also known as taxon and the main group in which all other taxa are included is called kingdom and after it the taxa are arranged serially like sub kingdom phylum class sub class order family genus species variations are decreased in sequence from kingdom to species and when we see the step wise their characters as a example large number of variations occur in the members of the animal kingdom which is less seen in the members in the case of the phylum same way the dissimilarities present in the members of the phylum may not be remain in this class those in class may not remain in subclass and similarly if you move forward towards genus species etc okay so before moving forward please download the science certificate app and register on it and you can download the science edutech app from the google play store and please subscribe my channel so all our animals or organisms belonging to the phyla are basically assigned to the highest category called kingdom and for example in the case of animals the kingdom animalia in the case of plants kingdom plant okay so we will refer to these two groups such as animal and plant kingdom for example so there are various other tax uh, categories okay various other hierarchy levels also so the now we are going to discuss numbers will be high similarity okay will be will be low actually okay but when we move forward towards the kingdom to the phylum kingdom to the phylum okay numbers okay the numbers basically decreases and the similarity levels increase similarity level increases the classes comprising animals like fishes amphibians reptiles along with mammals constitute the next higher category phylum and all these are based on common features like presence of notochord dorsal hollow or neural systems are which are basically included in the for example in the kingdom chordata in the case of plants classes with a few similar characters are assigned to a higher category called division next after the phylum is basically the class this category includes related orders for example order primata which comprises of monkey gorilla gibbon which is placed in the class mammalia okay along with the order carnivora that includes animals like tiger cat and dog etc okay so in this case again numbers decreases similarity increases among the organisms now moving towards next one the order okay generally order and other higher taxonomic categories are identified based on aggregates of the characters orders being the higher category is the assemblage of families which exhibit a few similar characters the few uh, similar characters which are less in number as compared to the genera are included in the family 
Okay. So, in this case, again, numbers decreases, but the similarity levels increases. Okay. Next deals with the family. The next category, family. As a group of related genera with still less number of similarities as compared to the genus and species. Families are characterized on the basis of both vegetative and reproductive features in the case of plant species. And among plants, for example, three different uh, genera, Solanum, Petunia, and Datura, are placed in the family Solanaceae. In the case of animals, for example, genus Panthera, which basically com comprises of lion, tiger, and leopard, is put along with the genus Felis in the family Felidae. Similarly, if you observe the features of a cat and dog, you will find some similarities and some differences as well. Okay, now moving forward to the next one, genus. Again, numbers decreases, similarities increases. Similarity increases. Genus comprises of a group of related species which has more characters in common in comparison to species of the other genera. Where we can say that the genera are aggregates of closely related species, for example, potato and benjo are the two different species, but both belong to the genus Solanum. Okay, similar are the cases uh, when we discuss about the animals also. Next, and the last one is species. Okay, is species. Here, numbers again decreases, but the similar table will be very high among the organisms. The taxonomic study is considered a group of individuals, organisms with fundamental similarities as a species. One should be able to distinguish one species from the other closely related species based on the distinct morphological differences. Let us consider, for example, Magnifera indica, uh, Solanum tuberosum, Panthera leo. And all these three names, indica, tuberosum, and leo, represents specific epithets. While the first words, Magnifera, Solum, and Pantherum are the genera and represents another higher level of taxon or category. And each genus may have one or more than one specific epithets representing the different organisms, but having morphological similarities. For example, Panthera is another specific epithet called Tigeris, and Solanum includes species like Nigrum and Melongena. Similarly, Homo uh, sapiens is, is, is in the case of human beings. Now, let's discuss, discuss some of the examples how uh, taxonomic categories can be used for classifications. Okay, I'm going to just discuss some of the examples. Um, Homo sapiens, men, okay, how men is classified? Kingdom is Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Class Mammalia, Order Primata. Family Hominidae and genus Homo. Okay, genus Homo. Okay, and the species is sapiens. The species is sapiens. Okay, next one is housefly, which we see around. Again, animal, same animalia. Okay, kingdom animalia, phylum arthropoda, class insecta, order diptera. Family Muscidae and genus Musca, and the species will be Domestica. Okay, and the scientific name will be Musca Domestica. Next one, frog. Okay, popularly, uh, sorry, uh, scientific name is Rana tigrina, phylum Chordata, class Amphibia, order Anura, family Ranidae, and the genus is Rana. Next one. Cockroach, okay, similar to that of uh, housefly, where the class is insecta and phylum is arthropoda, but in this case, order will be orthoptera, family blatidae, and genus will be periplaneta, okay, and periplaneta americana will be the scientific name of the cockroach, okay. Next one, earthworm, kingdom, animalia, phylum, panalida. Class Oligochaeta, order Ophistophora, 
family megas megascol lediaci and genus ferentima and earthworm scientific name will be ferentima posthuma okay now uh, let us discuss, discuss some examples of the plant kingdom plantae phylum angiosperm class dicotyledons order infra uh, family asteraceae genus helianthus and scientific name will be helianthus anus for the sunflower next maize kingdom plantae phylum angiosperm class monocotyledons order poels family poaceae genus zea and zea maize will be scientific name for the for the maize next one mango phylum again angiosperms class dicotyledons order sapnidales family enarca dac genus magnifera and scientific name will be magnifera magnifera indica for mango next one is wheat okay similarly class monocotyledons order poils family poesi genus straticum and scientific name for wheat will be straticum astivum okay now please download the science scientific app from the google play store to download the study materials as well as the practice test for the same chapter and kindly also subscribe to my youtube channel and share the video with your friends and classmates